Well, good day, everybody. We're going to start this video off doing something a little bit different, doing something in the house. It has something to do with all these rubber gloves. And no, we're not going to do anything freaky like sticking anything in our butts. But we're going to do something that I bought a few years ago. I don't know if it's any good anymore, but let's Ooh. go see. Let's go open up the little cupboard of secrets and pull this box out. can see my mess in the background there. Shit just piles up, all hoarding up. What are you doing there, buddy? Sleeping beside your little catnip mouse? No fucks given, eh? You just don't care. You just want to lay around, eat treats, and fucking hang out. Now we're back to the box here, and what we got is like a home plating kit. This is uh, the gold solution. Except I don't know if this stuff's any good anymore. It used to be a lot lighter. Now it's darker. And this is, this is the black chrome. I hardly doubt it's any good because when I ordered it, it came frozen in the container. Was busted, so I stuck it in that, and that's where it stayed. So we're going to see if it's going to be still good. But I got some fake silver here. I got some fake Freemason silver and a fake bar of... Well, it looks like Canadian maples or something, but let's get this bad boy fired up and see if it still works. So there you have it. Gold plated this one, the Freemason silver, and black chrome this one. It turned out pretty good. Backside of this one not so much. But if you want to see those videos, those will appear on my secondary channel, so I don't know if they're going to be up there yet or very soon in the near future, but if you're interested in that kind of stuff, you can go check them out there. Let's have a look what's in this box. I ended up on the dark side of the internet one night uh, looking up projects, how to make your own DIY EMP machine and like stun guns and all that crap. And I came across this. It's the Mind Place Mind Media System. I have no idea how well this is going to work. Basically what it is, you got these glasses you put on and there's three LED lights on each lens and then it plays some music that um, reacts with your brain waves or whatever. And it's supposed to give you like a really trippy experience or I don't know what the fuck. But anyways, like I said, I ended up on the dark side of the internet so I picked this up. I'm going to have to give this a try before I give any thoughts on it because I might just end up sending it back if it's bullshit. Oh yeah, I could see that being a mind fuck for sure. Let's go take some magic mushrooms, lay down, and give this a whirl. Kill, kill, kill. Well, good day, everybody. We're back in the garage today. I was kind of hoping it would have been heated up by now. I had it running for 45 minutes, and I'm only at 8 degrees Celsius, so... We are going to continue on the fire piston today. I'm gonna show you what I got happening. So what we need to do now, I hate it because that light gives that brown kind of tint. I don't know what the hell it is. But anyways, we need to drill a hole through it and then we're gonna cut this end off. So that's what we're gonna get started on now. Probably gonna punch it through with this drill bit right here, front and back. Well, I had my first shave with the Dollar Shave Club. Actually, it's not too bad. I don't mind the razors and everything else. I mean, for the price of it, it's definitely cheaper than going to buy razors in the store. So, I don't know. I might continue on with it. I want to know you guys. Like I said, if you guys have used them, what kind of feedback do you got? This drill bit's getting dull, so we need to sharpen it up. Well, I just finished doing what I got to do on the lathe, so let's go back over here now. So I grooved another o-ring into my piston and we checked it for fit. We know we got compression in there. I made a mark on there where we're going to machine that off and then we're going to cut this piston off too. And Yeah, we should be done this within an hour. Hopefully. Hopefully, then it's motherfucking beer time. Me and this parting tool over the years have had some mishaps. She's got some 
scars of war in her. I'm telling you, when the parting tool fucks up or breaks, when you're parting something, it's a mess, trust me. Something you don't want to happen. That's some good compression right there. All right, do you know what time it is? It's motherfucking beer time. I got some bad hair. I'm gonna put a fucking toque on. There, that's a little bit better. This is my first beer in a couple weeks, and boy, does it taste good. So that project's done. The fire piston's done. I just need to find an old tin can or something I could make some char cloth and go from there. And then test it out, see if it works. Other than that, I think I'm gonna go try to pick up some metal tomorrow for the rock crusher. I wanna get a good start on that. I wanna see if that place can shear and break me off some pieces I need to make the rock crusher. Because once I get the drum built, the rest of it's going to be easy peasy. But anyways, I'm going to go inside. I spent a little bit later in the garage than I had anticipated, so I'll talk to you guys later. Well, it's another gray, gloomy day with added snowfall. Fuck me, my balls fucking hurt. Have you guys ever jumped in your truck too fast? And fucking squished your nuts. Holy fuck, that hurts. Jesus. Oh. Kind of hard to see in the video, but got quite a bit of snow happening. I was going to shift it in four wheel drive, even though I probably don't need it, but it keeps the system lubricated and running. Look at the overhang on that trailer. How the fuck is that legal? It's hanging out to the side like three feet. Oh, it looks like Buddy spun out there too. I don't know if you guys saw that in the corner. Yeah, this definitely warrants four-wheel drive for sure. I'm running some errands. What a bunch of bullshit. Walmart is out of the big jugs of water, so maybe I have to come back tomorrow or next week. Get some off to the bank and then off to middle supermarket. All right, here we are, pulling up into Metal Supermarket to pick up some shit that I need. Man, we sure got some snow. Look at that natural snow bank right outside my garage. So this is what I picked up for the Rock Crusher project. One eight might be on the thin side for what I'm gonna need it to do. Gonna have to look at um, reinforcing it with ribs because going to like a quarter inch thick, which would have been really good, also increases the weight. You don't want it so heavy that you can't move it. So tomorrow, or as soon as I get back outside the garage, we are going to continue on the Rock Crusher project with a new direction. So it should go a lot smoother now than working with the brake drums, which are soon going to become a forge. So if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.